good morning, everyone. So, as mentioned, uh, I'm a research fellow in NUS. But today, I want to represent uh, ONF uh, as the owner of the uh, programming language, the open source of programming language, which is uh, before. So, uh, but today is not very technical. Uh, I want to make it more like, practical. So, we, we will see some demo, uh, uh, quick demo. Uh, whether we can uh, have some, how would you say, like longer period for demo or not, depending on time. But uh, before we start, uh, I want to uh, discuss a bit what is the demo. So basically, as I mentioned, uh, this is a language that intend to be used to program uh, different networking hardware, or uh, I can say like networking chips, including the SmartNIC, MPGA, Intel Tofino, or uh, even the Linux networking. Okay, uh, so if you want to see the, the details, uh, I have a, a one and a half hour tutorial about the P4 uh, in my last event. So you can uh, check it out in the uh, this YouTube link. Maybe I can send also the slide and then you can uh, uh, try to learn about P4. Uh, but don't worry, uh, I will uh, give you a little bit of uh, introductions or maybe like analogy why we need a P4 before we go into the demo. So everybody uh, like talking about uh, talk about the programmability, right? As you mentioned, we, we have the CPU that can be fully programmable, we have the mobile device and so on. But now can we have in the networking? Okay? So uh, the question is uh, everybody know the of the programming? I will I will not explain this one. But the overall uh, you make your own programs can be simple, can be complex, it's up to you. Okay, and then you load it into the uh, uh, source code and then compile it to the binary or a history or whatever it is. And then you load it to the computer and then the computer is behaved like you want based on your applications. Okay, uh, similarly with the mobile device, right? Uh, like for example, Android. So you, you can have very complex apps in your uh, for your applications, right? Uh, you just build uh, using the Java programming language and then you compile it, uh, put into the uh, what they say, uh, class and uh, some uh, manifest, and then pack it into the APK and then share uh, in the I don't know, Play Store or whatever it is. And then your application can be run in any uh, hardware uh, that use Android operating system. Okay. Now, the question is can we have the same in the network? Okay, so basically it's very similar. I have network. It can be one device, it can be two device, or it can be hundred of device. Okay, I want to. I have like my own networking logic. Okay, I want to set uh, my uh, what they say uh, uh, behavior of the network, including the behavior, the packets that uh, coming and going to my network. Okay. So uh, I, I need to define how the the, the what do you say the, the packet is behaved, and then I translate into the programming language, okay, or into programs, and then I load it into the OS operating systems, okay, uh, and then uh, yeah, of course you need to have some uh, compiler, driver, or maybe uh, runtime to interact with this uh, hardware. Okay, so the idea is uh, uh, very uh, uh, simple, uh, similar that we have in. Uh, computer and also in mobile device program. Okay, now the second one is how we test. Okay, we we just we cannot just uh, uh, what do you say like program and then uh, uh, push it into into like network, right? So we need to have something to test. Okay, uh, I think everybody knows in the computer programs or computer applications, usually you just uh, pull out uh, from the kit, uh, uh, load into the uh, uh, IDE or whatever it is, try to build, run, uh, and then uh, some of you may run inside the containers. It can be one container, it can be multiple containers, up to you, depending on your applications. And then you see the behavior uh, before you can uh, deploy into the production, right? So this is like a computer program. Okay, and then uh, how about the mobile uh, phone applications? Okay, so everybody knows that there is a, a Android emulator, very nice. So you don't need to have uh, uh, real uh, devices to program the Android uh, device. You just use this emulator and then 
make your own programs and you want to make sure that program can run in any uh, different uh, device that use a similar uh, version of the uh, Android OS. Yeah. Okay, so now the questions, how we test the networking program uh, uh, in, the, in some testing environment. Okay, so now we, we have what we call VNet. Okay, uh, it can be also to use to verify the P4 programs. It basically is, uh, uh, it's not simulated, it's not simulator. Uh, I you can say that this is emulator because actually you, you, you run the, the, the real software OS, sorry, the software switch, and then you also run some software host uh, based on the container and so on and so on. So basically it's emulator, uh, uh, but in some sense, in very small uh, scale of the network. So you can uh, change the behavior of your switch, your host, and everything uh, inside this uh, emulator. Okay. So, uh, we want to go to some demo. Any quick questions? Uh, if not, uh, let's see the demo. Okay, so basically, uh, before I uh, open my uh, uh anyone know how the routing is works? So, in the internet, there are thousand routers in the world, but do you know how the, actually the IP routing is done? Okay. Uh, you may uh, uh, imagine that okay, the process is very complex because there are many uh, uh, perfect uh, prefixes, IP addresses, and so on, right? But in terms of the packet, it's very simple. Okay, if the packet is going from uh, left side to the right side, okay, and across one of the router, nothing changes. The data is not changed, IP uh, header is not changed, only the MAC address is changed. Okay. Why? Because a uh, uh, router has their own MAC address. So if I send the packet to others, I need to pack uh, uh, the MAC address in my own so that the other know that how to uh, uh, pack the, the packet. Okay? So it's very simple. I mean, in terms of the, uh, the, the, the packet process itself, it's very simple. Okay? Now, uh, let's see if how we can go on to into uh, P4 programs. Okay? So, uh, P4 program basically is, uh, I mean, you can, you can say like something like pair walls. Okay, it's basically is like match action table. So you match something and then what is the action? Okay, so here we can see the, the logic of the routing. Okay, so we have a table called uh, IP4 routing table. Okay, and then what do you want to match? I want to match the uh, IP4 uh, headers. Okay, and then the type of the match is logos prefix. Because in the in the routing, if we have uh, several entries that match, actually I'm looking for the longest, longest one. Okay, so then uh, we define the actions. What is the actions? It's made the IPP4 forward. Okay, so as we uh, see in the previous one, basically when the packet comes to my uh, device, right, I just need to change the MAC address. I don't need to touch anything. Okay, and, and maybe uh, uh, some of the action uh, may be like, uh, I need to re redirect to the correct interface or maybe reducing the DDL because uh, to avoid the loop, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So basically, uh, if I see the some packets, okay, I tag the MAC address. Okay, now it's, it's, it's going to my MAC address, but when I send to other, I need to change to the MAC address to another other. Okay, then uh, the second one, I need to change it to the correct port number. Okay, so it's close to the, the correct destinations, and then I need to reduce the TTL, the time to leave. So, the idea of the TTL is if I go, uh, like usually, like two, five, five hops, right? I consider it's loop only. Okay, so I need to reduce the, uh, uh, the TTL every time I push, uh, uh, to the router. Okay, okay, so, uh, let's see the demo. So, you move like this. I have the, the topology in the VNet. So we have the Swiss 1, Swiss 2, Swiss 3, and Swiss 4. This is the uh, uh, topology. And then I have the host 1, host 2, host 3, and host 4. Okay, so if you want to see the detail of the, uh, uh, this is the example of the demo, you can see in the screen. But uh, let me open up my uh, VMs. Is visible? Okay. 
Okay, anyway, uh, this one is, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, I have the, uh, the table for uh, IP for OPM, but in the action, there is nothing good. Okay, so uh, I mean the program is there, but more actions. Basically, what will happen is I do not know what to package. Okay, uh, let's see if we uh, try to uh, uh, implement. Okay, uh, so basically, uh, how to, to, to compile this one is the same as if you if you compile the, the uh, what they say, the programs, right? Uh, in, the, in computer or in, in, in Android, just to the base. Okay, so it will compile the, the dependency of the codes, the copy for codes, and then uh, also uh, routing the uh, million topology. Okay, so uh, this is the console of the mainnet. So in here you can see uh, what they say uh, that everything is set up. But if you want to see the the, the, the host right, so you can go to the host. So it will open the another terminal. Basically, this is the host, uh, which actually is I mean, this is a real real, real coordinate. So you can see the I mean this because it's this on Linux, right? So you can uh, keep any common Linux command, for example, a config. Okay, so the IP is this one, or uh, you want to see uh, any other command ls. So basically, it's, it's, it's container. This is like this container. Okay, so uh, every host in the internet basically is the containers that you can uh, consider is, is the uh, full features of the host. Okay, okay now uh, we want to try that uh, as we uh, see in the demo, right? Yeah, uh, this one uh, we want to check the connection between the H1 and H2, right? So let's try to bring the H1 to H2. I mean, uh, the simplest way you can just use this one. Okay, this uh, doesn't happen because uh, as we know that uh, there is no there is a program, but there is no actions. Okay, now uh, you can also do it from here if you want to ping uh, because you want to feed the IP address of the H2 or of H2, so you just type. Same thing here, so we will uh, do the same. Okay, now let's uh, let's try to program uh, to become a, 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 say like a router, right? Okay, so I just close this one. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, clean up in the previous field. Okay, so basically it's uh, uh, cleaning up of, of the previous. Uh, uh, case whatever it is that we built before. Now uh, uh, to speed up the demo I just copy some uh, uh, what they say the, the solution for the this one. Okay. So now okay now you can see here the the action as you mentioned before right so uh, I will get the MAC address and then I change the, the, the MAC address uh, previously, is is coming to me, and then I need to change to the destinations, and then I need to specific the uh, specify the correct port, and then I need to reduce the DDL. DDL. Okay, so we have this one uh, ready. So uh, let's try to uh, compile it again. So depending on the topology that you create, uh, you may have a way to uh, win like several minutes, but. Uh, uh, if you have a very powerful uh, uh, like virtual machine, it can be uh, very fun. Okay, now uh, we have already uh, this one, and as uh, as we discussed before, we, uh, our intention uh, to make it the host one and host two communicate, even though they have a different, uh, let's say, subnet, right? Uh, the subnet is different. Uh, 10.0.1.1 0 .1 and 10.0.2.2 .2 means the different subnet because this is what I discussed before. Okay, now uh, let's see whether we can uh, do the pin. Uh, let's go here. Okay, now uh, the the program that we 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 uh, create is successfully uh, implemented. So if you want to see the details, you may also do the same. X one and X two. Yeah. So we will try to pin from here. 
Okay, so the same. So you want to spin the host one so you can. Okay, so uh, this is the, the overall idea uh, how we, we can program our, uh, uh, what you say, the, uh, the, the behavior of the networking. I mean, uh, you not only configure one switch, but we can configure uh, as much as switch as well. Okay, so uh, using the, the, same, the same program. Okay, uh, any questions? No questions? Okay, now in, uh, no questions. Uh, I think I still have oh, how many minutes? Uh, maybe just about five minutes. Okay, okay uh, I have some bonus. So, okay. Uh, maybe uh, somebody said that, okay, maybe people are only working for the or for simulations. No, actually, uh, it's already verified it's working with the hardware. And one of them is the Intel uh, Tofino, even though it's, uh, they, they closed the Intel Tofino, but they are another target that can be used, like that FPGA, SmartNIC, even the uh, Linux DB app, and so on and so on. So uh, the difference is, there is a language, but you have the target. Target can be changed, but language will be the same. Okay? So uh, so I, I, I uh, borrow uh, uh, one Tofino, uh, Intel Tofino switch from the uh, uh, lab in the NUS. Okay, so you can see here, we have uh, Intel this one is the Intel switch, and then I have the servers one and server two to be to host the host one, host two, host three, and host four. Okay, uh, and then it's connected to the yeah. I just want to show that whether it's in the net or whether it's in the hardware, right? The way how to configure is the same. The program is always the same. Okay, so let's see the demo. Okay, so I'm accessing the switch. Okay, and then uh, same I do to make uh, because I have the program uh, that I want to uh, uh, compile. Okay, uh, of course the compiler of the Minimum and the compiler of the uh, Intel Tofino is different. Okay, uh, and then the compiler for FPGA is different, compiler for the Linux EPBF is different. Okay, now uh, you can see here, uh, it's done. Now the next, uh, uh, we need to start the switch to load our uh, binary. Okay, so you can see there is a binary called Tofino pin, and there is a contact JSON basically is uh, information that how you will interact with this uh, switch. Okay. Okay, so uh, how is that? Okay, uh, now uh, since uh, it's using the hardware, so the software is something that you need to configure manually. In a minute, the, 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 even the host can, you, you can configure uh, automatically. But this one we need to configure manually. So we need to assign the port. The USB is down because I don't assign any port to the server, right? Now I assign the port to the server and then pick up, pick up up. Okay. And then I need to set the IP address, right? Manually because it's, it's the real server. Okay. And basically, it's just uh, configuring the, the, the IP address, the default route, and then uh, uh, set the Mac, uh, sorry, the art. Because we know that we'll, uh, the, before I can think, I can I need to uh, do the RP. But this one, uh, since I know the MAC address, I just make it static and then uh, uh, respond it by uh, our program. Okay, so let me speed up this one. It's just configuring the IP, so nothing. Okay, uh, now you can see all the IP is configured and then uh, the uh, RP is also done. Okay. Okay, now uh, you can configure the, uh, sorry, this one, uh, I can configure my own IP but I cannot pin yet the destinations. Why? Because uh, there is no rules that I uh, set up in the, in the, in the switch. Uh, now I, I, I set up the, the rule on the switch uh, as well. Put it on. Okay, so as you can see, now the the, the 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 switch that we already configured is can be used for the, uh, uh, doing the route, routing uh, process. Okay, uh, I think uh, with this one uh, I conclude my uh, presentation. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Any questions, anybody? So, why is the use case to use this uh, before? Is it you can do something like a uh, uh, firewall for our machine? Anything. It depends on uh, your, I mean, your creativity. Uh, some people use for the uh, uh, switching. Sorry. Some people use the, uh, for the switching. Some people use for the routing. Some people use for the root balancer. Some people use for the firewall. Some people use for the GRE tunnel. Some people also use for uh, like PNG, like portal gateway or whatever. Yeah. So depending on how you make the programs, how your logic of your program, uh, actually it can be. Uh, uh, yeah. Even some people, uh, I mean, you can just start for like Swiss ML or whatever. They try to do the uh, something like limited machine learning in Swiss also. Okay. Yeah.